land destruction. <laughs> you love to see it. You love to see it. The hidden text of Valkmir's shield. Hello, my fair citizens. My name is Strider Stone. I'm the mayor of Sodium City, and today we have a nice little mono white tax deck for you. Now, mm, taxes are a little bit weird in Arena, um, but somehow we were able to make it work. So let me show you the deck. So this deck is just a really weird taxing type of deck. Uh, it does permanent taxing and then it does some like temporary taxing. So permanent taxing would be more like Odd Pharaoh Statute where every spell costs two more. Same with Redane. Everything costs two more if it's four or more for the opponent. Spellbinder, this is you target one spell and it does two more. Tithe Taker, anything they cast on your turn is one more. Like all this stuff, it's just taxing the opponent being really, really, really annoying. Immortal Sun, making all their planeswalkers completely irrelevant, plus all of our creatures, since we have a lot of creatures, they all get plus one, plus one. So that's how we win. And of course, four Castle of Ardenvale's help with the creature generation. Uh, Invasion of Gobicon is a key card because we're going to tax a card, but then we're also going to be able to attack it, turn it into the enchantment, and it's going to start buffing all of our creatures. It works surprisingly well. We're just annoying the hell out of all of our opponents by taxing. Nobody likes taxes. Um, so I guess it's like a... I don't know. People call is it death and taxes? I don't know what the death part is. It, it, outside of us killing the opponent, I don't know if it's like a death or death and taxes. I think it's just like a tax deck. I don't know. It's fun though. Uh, I would like to be able to squeeze in not smothering tithe. What is the card? Somebody somebody knows the name of the card. Yes, mana tithe. I would love to be able to fit Mana Tithe in this deck. So, if you know how to fit Mana Tithe in this particular deck, then definitely give me the deck list in the comment section below. And I wanted to give a huge shout out to all the Twitch subs and YouTube members. You do get a lot of benefits from it, so if you wanna know what you can get outside of being immortalized in all of these videos, then go ahead and hit that join button to see all the benefits, or you can go over to twitch.tv slash striderstone and hit that sub button. Use your free Twitch Prime sub. I have some of the best emotes on Twitch if you watch over there, so don't forget that. But again, I do really appreciate all the support, even just watching the videos. It all helps. This tax deck actually performed really well. I enjoyed playing it, and it's not as rare mythic heavy as the majority of my decks are. It only had 32 rares and five mythics, right? So it's really not that bad if you think about it, especially if you try to add in the mana tithe in there like I wanted to. It would probably make it cheaper, but again, 32 rares, five mythics, not that bad. I mean, it's, it's still pretty bad. But if you want the deck list, you can click on that card that pops out at the top right-hand corner of this video. It'll send you on over to the Aether Hub page. Or if you want the link, it could also be in the pinned comment below. Or if you just want the text-based version, that'll be in the description below. The best thing you could do for the channel, though, would be to share the video with somebody who you think would enjoy them. And of course, all the YouTube stuff, like, comment, subscribe. Stay salty and enjoy the games. Lick the coil. I'm still not sure how much I like Captain Urbanheart. I like I like him, but I'm still like on the fence. It's great because it taxes a little bit, but only taxes one. I don't like that. All right. So I can invasion here. And this invasion... Uh, 
Okay, that's the only dragon in their hand, so that's no longer in their hand. And since this is one cheaper, I might as well utilize that. So now that's four mana. We'll just make them, yeah, we'll just make them dragons fire that. Ooh. See, that's the combo. It's the, uh, it's the captain and the howling mine. Is this a sorcery? No, it's an instant. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, so for deafening silence, each player can't cast more than one non-creature spell. So you want to make sure cast this first and then cast this. Oh. <laughs> See, the mistake I made there, big mistake, is that once I attack the invasion, I have to cast it. So I needed to play all that after combat like a normal person. But you didn't. But, uh, yeah. Okay, so this is my only non-creature. I would like to get a land, though. Lands would be cool. Uh, let's go ahead and just get a flyer, but also three power. Because why not? Ah, huh, it's a two-two. Doesn't have haste, luckily. I don't know if I... I think I block that. Yeah. I don't like what they're doing. There's nothing I can do about it. Oh boy. Does this have haste? It does. Can they cast it? One, two, three, four, five. They can. Okay, so if they throw that down and attack. Does it have an on attack thing? Good debate. I don't know how many basics they have. They had one mountain, but they're doing three color decks. So it could be a couple different things. Okay, they only had one mountain. That's good. Now, soul petition always? No, it got modified. I don't know how. How did this get modified to one? Because I didn't have Ebonheart. Very confused. Um. Let's just build out our board. I think that's probably the best thing we can do right now. Everything that they just now draw is going to be taxed by one. Okay. That was their only non-creature spell they can cast this turn. I 
forgot about this card. I like this card. I remember playing with it once, and I was like, oh, okay. All right. All right. We are going to have to start attacking sometime soon so we can start buffing our creatures. Um, we're going to need another Settle the Wreckage, I think, in order to do that. Unless, is there any other card that allows us to only destroy their creatures, like all their creatures? Okay. Blast zone being cheap is great. Now all these are expensive, however, they're still drawing two cards a turn. Whenever you draw a dragon card. Oh, so that indicated that they drew a dragon card. That's two mana. So if we do blast zone for two, that would hit a lot, but it would also hit our... We would have to sack that to make everything indestructible. Okay, that was terrifying. And you're dead. Okay, Soul Petition and Settle the Wreckage. Great cards. I didn't realize I had that many non-creature spells though and obviously not being able to cast more than one hurts a lot of decks i do like their early invasions oh hello zombie wave oh no it's always a turn one thought sees every time I assume they get my invasion or my redain. Maybe one. Of, I doubt they get one of these because it's so late. And if they're doing turn one thought sees, they probably have a lot of discard. Maybe I should use my emotes more appropriately. Okay, let's see what they have in their hand, huh? Oh, it's a Grease Fang deck. Wonderful. Um, do I get rid of their Lantern? They don't... Let's get rid of their Lantern. Let's make it to where their mana is a little bit more difficult. I need a land. Now, they still don't have green, so they can't Grizzly Salvage to do anything with this. Um, but just in case, do we Spellbinder it? Um, because I don't really want to deal with their nonsense. 
they can throw down the chariot, which they'll obviously have to do. Invasion of Govicon. Great card. I don't like that. It is a sorcery. Um, but we do know that it's an artifact or enchantment, so it can get any of these, and they know that they have all of those. I don't like that. I still need another land. I'm having problems getting lands, which is weird. I feel like I shouldn't. Okay. Now, I can either make... All their stuff more expensive, which actually, yeah, let's make all their stuff more expensive. They use their creature removal and their, and their enchantment removal. It does suck. I would have liked to be able to protect the Redane. Okay. And they get their Grease Fang. Nothing else, though. Boom. Uh, let's go ahead and... Do they have basic forest? That is the next question. Oh, but now I don't have four mana up for a Settle the Wreckage. If they have something. They do have a basic forest. This costs two more, but does it cost another two more? I, that I don't know. I don't know if that's going to cost six. No, it still costs four. Okay, cool. So they can only get the Grease Fang. Grease Fang's legendary. Oh, they can get the land too. I forgot about that. What do you think they got? Another land? Um, I'll block the Grease Fang this time. So I don't care about the Spellbinder. So long as I am by your side. Captain Urban Heart. Not good. We're gonna need a land so that we can Immortal Sun. But the problem with that is that they have Revoke Existence. Which I do not like. Is that gonna haste? I don't think so. All right. Let's see. They're obviously going to revoke existence one of these. Hopefully we can get them to do it on the God Pharaoh statue. So they've already used one. That is their second one. It costs six mana. It's going to hurt. Yeah. Okay. And 
And that's uh, two or three thought seizes in the graveyard. Two. No blocks. Uh, that's scary. But with this out, this out. Uh, four, eight, and ten. This represents lethal. Okay. Please don't top deck or revoke existence. That was a good top deck. It was a really good top deck for them. Um. I don't know if they attack here. They might. Okay. Good card. Do they have a one mana spell? Maybe I should have kept that. No. No, yeah, I played that secluded step a while ago. Never mind. Um, okay, the chariot. And they're going to crew this and attack. And I get to settle the wreckage because debating for days. We know they have at least one forest. Isn't that only three damage? Is that going to do anything for them? Okay. Okay. Now we definitely want to attack the go the Gobachan. Throw the tithe taker out. This is a good blocker. And we're gonna blow this up because it does something. It has text on it and too much text for me to read, and we don't read here, right? If it has more than if it's a land and it can be destroyed. Yeah, like whatever <laughs> that is. X tap, it becomes a copy of a non token artifact. Okay, so they can't even do anything with it now. That's great. And I don't know if they have any more basics because they only got one basic out of that settle the wreckage. So that could be just straight up land destruction. Okay, it's not. But now it's four or five. Knives that makes a clue, right? Oh no, that that's a draw discard. It was a land, good. Now, if they crew this, I then have a blocker. And then it becomes a flyer. But is it going to be too much after that? It 
It's got afterlife. We like afterlife. Unfortunately, it doesn't help us right now. It also doesn't really help us right now. Uh, I think we're dead next turn. Hmm. So they crew both of those. Uh, we'll restrict whatever they can cast. Uh, this has flying and vigilance. Unfortunately, we are off by one HP. Um, we have the light shield array that will give our creatures indestructible. Um, so they do those two. Has haste, sure. They have to kill me this turn. They don't. Can they? Is it Exaxes? That might be Exaxes. Um, where's that eight? Yeah, okay, cool. Good stuff. Okay, the deck is winning somehow. For some reason, I thought they had Xaxes, but they only had eight. Am I not in ranked all of a sudden? I feel like I'm not. Untapped is not recording the games right now. I do need white sources. White sources are good. Velveteen. I thought about adding that Archon that makes it to where they have to pay extra mana for each creature they attack. And I think it also has protection from white. Oh. Uh, Um, let's optimize our mana and use Spellbinder here, because I think Spellbinder may be the key, and they're probably going to kill it right now, because they are in black. They haven't done anything yet. Eat Hook Massacre, Murder. This is specifically enchantments. These are going to be really annoying to deal with. I don't really have any enchantments. Okay, so we did draw out the murder. Maybe I shouldn't... Mm, I think they would have killed it regardless. Because uh, it would have been nice to Invasion of Gobachon. Uh, you know what? Let's throw this down as a shield just to take less damage. 
just to take less damage. Oh, Field of Ruin. Nice. What does this do again? Target player searches the library for a card, then shuffles and put it on top. I don't like that. But we could just Field of Ruin. The, the problem with this is that they can sack their Field of Ruin in response, which would leave me one land lighter, but they would still have to shuffle their library. They're running two Field of Ruins. Okay, I need land. Where are my lands? All right. So let's get this down. And I think we soul petition that thing. Yeah, so let's soul petition that thing so it can attack and boast. Uh, whatever they just drew is double taxed. Or not double taxed, but it is taxed. The two things that they did draw are taxed. Okay. Um, that is unfortunate. They're going to have to pay extra for that. Are you going to pay extra for that? They are. So we can invasion. Um, let's get rid of their card draw. Um, and then we can also Deafening Silence and Tithe Taker. So anything they want to do on our turn is going to be annoying for them. Is this life loss? Ooh, it's life loss too. That sucks. Hmm. Yeah, so that doesn't even affect the Valkmira shield. Um, kind of not really what we were hoping for. Uh, let's do another invasion. Let's see what we get here. We're just going to make everything hella expensive. Land destruction. <laughs> you love to see it. You love to see it. The hidden text of Valkmir's shield. And that's two, two damage. What are they targeting?
Okay. I don't know if I want to take any of that damage, actually. They do get lands out of this, which is very upsetting. It's very upsetting. There's nothing we can really do about that. Another Mortal Sun. Another Tithe Taker. But that's going to be one mana. Um, we do get to kill that, and we'll get double afterlife if we do that. Uh, if they do one of their... Whatchamadudat? They could do both. If they actually double Meat Hook Massacre, that would be insane. They would kill their own Shakedown Heavy. Alright, we take those. Oh, we definitely take those. Oh, we definitely take that. Yeah, and we can only cast one. Remember that. We can only cast one because of that deafening silence. But. Indestructible. Now they have to do it for three. If they want to do another Meat Hook Massacre. Which kills their own. Dude. And then we can kill their shakedown heavy. It's three. Do we have anything that costs three? No. Hold on. Yeah, you could draw a card. I don't really want to take any damage. Hmm. Uh, let's blow this up. It's four starters. I don't like that. We'll make their stuff more expensive. And we will see what they have in their hand and try to make things even more more exp Oh. They have three swamps. Nice. That's both good and bad for us. Everything is super expensive for them right now. Except for that Feed the Swarm, which they're going to have to target on our... Do I save this? Yeah, why not? Let's do three at that, four at that. Boom, boom. That will flip. Both of those will get plus one, plus one. 
Nice. And we can Spellbinder once again. Beam your end step, each opponent loses them. No. I ain't about that life. Now. We have lots of replacements. But if they're going to make us sacrifice something, unless they discard a card. We could discard this other Immortal Sun, because I don't think they have any... Um, let's see. One, two, again. Yeah. And can we do anything about... I like the settles. They aren't really going to be able to do too much. Yeah, you can go fuck yourself with that. Now, hopefully they don't have a board wipe. But we know everything they have in their hand, so. I don't know why I got rid of that when I have Immortal Sun out. That was a punt. Yeah, I don't really care if you have that. Everything was so annoyingly taxed. <laughs> Scala Grim. We take these. So this should be hey, at least opponent has class with the Ashiok. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, and they had a mulligan. And we go first. This is good advantage for us. Maybe. Hopefully. As long as it's not a turn one thought sees. Ooh, it could be ramp though. Yep. Ooh. You know what? Let's actually, Captain Ebonheart, apply a little bit of pressure. I don't think they're going to be casting two spells this turn. Two non-creature spells, that is. And that's a mighty fine looking Field of Ruin target, by the way. Banishing Light. Ooh, do we have enchantment removal? I don't know if we have enchantment removal. Uh, what is this? We'll remove a counter. How many counters? This is three counters. Yeah, I don't think we have enchantment removal. That's bad. I didn't think about that. Ooh. Phyrexia is the multiverse's synthetic destiny. Such an imperfect form. That is... This is a really nice combo, actually. The Heliod's Punishment and that. Our will cannot be denied. Pokey. Without now everything's Rexia, taxed by a lot more. No story. All right. That's a four mana Sithis. Such 
Imagine in perfect form. Exile target non land permanent. They have blue. I don't know if they have a counter spell, so I'm just gonna do this. This is not how our story ends. Yeah. I th I think I had to do that. I wonder if they if they attack with this, that'd be great. Uh, that was that's an easy settle the wreckage. So I guess technically we have enchantment removal. It's just temporary enchantment removal. Beautiful. Turn one deafening silence. And then we can turn to soul petition if we need to. I feel like this might be land destruction. I say, because this will ramp them, we can tax the ramp. Yeah, let's tax the ramp. I think that's a solid move. So now they're another turn away from doing anything special. Um, then we get out the Redain, which is four mana. Anything that's four mana or higher is going to cost them a lot more. Two more, specifically. So they're not, they're not going to be able to play their Chandra. Um, and then we get to do this Redain. Uh, which is going to prevent all damage done by a Grape Shot. Which we do like. They could use all of their mana in their whole turn to kill my one Redain, which wouldn't be the worst idea for them. Uh, if we get another land, if they don't do that. Okay, so they're not doing that. Okay. If we get another, if we get an untapped land. Dang. That's fine, though. So we're going to do this. And now if they just burn down the house, uh, we make everything indestructible. Pretty simple. Absolutely not. And I believe we castle here. Oh, nice.
They're dead next turn unless they can kill my board. They would have to exile everything. They would have to remove indestructible, so they would have to have the... And that's their only spell they can cast that turn. Boom, 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 boom. Dead, 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 dead. And then we could have got Pharaoh statue to make things even worse. Thank you all so much for watching. If you made it to this point, it means you either really enjoyed the video or you fell asleep and I'm waking you up now. <laughs> either way, thank you for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification, come out with videos seven days a week.